In the previous video, we've seen how we get a probability if we are given uh, in between rather two data points, and we will subtract the probability of the one from the on the farther right and from and the one at the farther left. Now, let's look at what we should do if we're looking for a probability greater than a given data point. So in this problem on the teacher salary, we will now look for the probability that the salary is more than, not anywhere in between, but more than 40,000. So here we are in Excel. But before we actually go to the computation for Excel, we have first to analyze how do we do it if we're looking for a probability more than a specific data value. So if again we will have our normal curve, our normal distribution, we still have the same mean of 47,750 and 40,000 is somewhere here. Not that far from the, I think that's too far. Let's change that for a while. There you go. I'll probably mark it here. This is 40,000. So, as you can see, we more, it's more than, so we have to shade the one at the right. Probably you're wondering, sir, why are you shading? But usually, this is the manual way of knowing whether the probability is big or small or whether we have to subtract or add something. In this specific case, what we're looking is the probability to the right because it's more than. So this is the probability that we are looking for. It's relatively big considering the fact that we are just guesstimating where 40,000 is in relation to 47,750 given that the standard deviation is around 5,000. So now what we have to do is find this probability in black. However, what Excel gives us is this one, the one that I will shade in blue, which is the probability to the left. What we need is the probability in black. What we have is the probability in blue. So now, how do we solve this? One property that will help us solve this is that the probability of the entire curve should be equal to 1. If you remember, it is a property of probability distributions that the sum of all probabilities should be equal to 1. And this will help us. Why is that? Because if the entire if the entire area or curve is 1, and this is the area that Excel gives us, but this is what we need. We don't this is what we need. This is what Excel gives us. We don't need this, so we need to remove that. So we will remove this from the entire curve. And removing, as we all know in math, is subtraction. Therefore, to find the probability to the right of a certain data point, that would be 1 minus the probability to the left of the specific data point. And that's what we will do as well. So now we will use Excel. Let us first type 40,000. There we go. And again, we will use our formula norm.dist. Here you go. And using the same, we will select our x value, our data point, comma, the mean. Don't forget F4 or dollar sign. Comma again, the standard deviation, F4, comma sign, then true. Then press enter. Now what we have here is the probability to the left. But what we need is the probability to the right. So, like what was mentioned a while ago, equal sign, 1, minus, select this value, and click enter. So now we would have this one. And again, let me just copy this here. Copy only the value. I only want four decimal places, so I will decrease the decimal. I will make this to a fraction. and have two decimal places and there we go so now we have our probabilities so this means that the probability that a salary is more than the probability that a salary is more than 40,000 that's in symbols would be 91.38 percent and that's a very high probability we are sure that the teachers will get more than an annual salary of 40,000 
So that is how we get probabilities and the normal distribution if we want the probability of more than a certain data point.